Well, today we're looking at Luke chapter 8, verses 16 through 18. Jesus said, No one, after lighting a lamp, covers it with a jar or puts it under a bed, but puts it on a stand, so that those who enter may see the light. For nothing is hidden that will not be made manifest, nor is anything secret that will not be known and come to light. Take care then how you hear, for to the one who has, more will be given, and from the one who has not, even what he thinks he has, will be taken away. So what does that mean? Let's take a look at it together. No one, after lighting a lamp, covers it with a jar. Well, obviously, because then you wouldn't get much light out of that lamp, because a jar is covering it. And uh, you don't put the lamp under the bed either. Right, because then if the bed was made out of wood, it could catch fire and burn down. Or even if the bed wasn't made out of wood, the lamp, why would you put it under a bed if you're trying to light the whole room? It wouldn't work. But he puts on a stand. So you put the lamp on a lamp stand of some sort, and you put it down there, and then it can put light into the whole room. Obviously, that's what I do in, in, in my room. Put the lamp on the lamp stand. Why is Jesus telling us this? For nothing is hidden that will not be made manifest, nor is anything secret that will not be made known and come to light. So, Jesus is the light. He is the light that has come into the world. But the Bible says men didn't like the light. They didn't want to go to the light. Men liked the darkness instead. Have you ever seen, have you ever turned on the light? You don't have to raise your hand. Have you ever turned on the light and you see the cockroaches run? Yeah, because the cockroaches don't like the light. Why not? Because it means they're going to die. The, they'll get caught or killed by a predator. Well, people that like to do bad things, people that like their sin, they don't want to come to God because then the light will shine on them and they'll see all that evil, all the evil that they do that's a secret, it will be exposed and become known. They want to keep that evil uh, secret, a dirty little secret. They don't want their sin to become well known. Well, the Bible says your sin will find you out. Basically, um, the sin that you do, eventually it will become known. The best thing to do is to bring our sin to God and say, God, I've sinned, I've done wrong. Please forgive me, save me, make me clean. That's the best thing to do. God can get rid of that sin for us. If you want to hold on to your sin, hold on to your sin till the day you die, then God will not let you into heaven. You'll be thrown into hell with your sin. You got to get rid of that sin. And only God can help you do that. And God can't forgive your sin if you don't ask him to. If you don't come to God and ask him to forgive your sin. So come to the light. Come to Jesus. Ask him, please forgive me. Save me. Wash me clean. Take care how you hear. For the one who has, to the one who has, more will be given. If you come to God, you give him your whole life, then God will give you more of himself. But from the one who has not, even what he thinks he has will be taken away. If you think you can live your life without God, well, you'll lose your life. Jesus said if you try to save your life, you'll lose it. But if you lose your life for his sake, then you'll truly find life, that true life that God gives you. Nothing is hidden that will not be made manifest, nor is anything secret that will not be known and come to light. You can't keep any secrets from God. You can't keep, keep any secrets regardless because everything we do, good or bad, will be shouted from the rooftops, will become known at the end. We won't be fooling anybody on the judgment day when all our past, the good things and the bad things, are made known and brought into the light. So come into the light now while we still have a chance to be forgiven. Come to God, ask Him to forgive you, and He will. He'll accept you, make you clean, bring you into the light. Amen.